The world is so full of a number of things, and all of them are nouns. What they do are verbs. Nouns and verbs are the most powerful of words. Even with no help from other words, what wonders they communicate. Thunder rumbles. Toddler stumbles. Buyer haggles. Tail waggles. Team score. Engines roar. And kites soar. However, adverbs can modify or change verbs. And adjectives can give nouns different images. For example, house is a fine noun all by itself. But with adjectives, we can make it a blue house, apartment house, abandoned house, or any kind of house we wish to describe. Adverbs can make a tree droop wearily or go soaring majestically toward the sky. Let's concentrate now upon the big four. Explore what can be done with these four types of words. Simon Pye is a college freshman. A hometown girl he likes will soon be graduating from high school, and he wants to persuade her to come to this college. This is what he writes. Dear Marley, hi, how is everything? I'm fine. This is a good college. You ought to try it next year. Simon. Do you think you'd like it there? I don't know. What does Simon like about it? He doesn't say. They sure haven't improved his writing any. They sure haven't. Meanwhile, another student, Brad Tacky, having condensed his knowledge into a term paper, gets it back. It's a jiff. I covered everything. Exactly where you went wrong, Brad. Writing is not supposed to cover things. It is supposed to reveal them. One purpose of words is to transfer the image in your mind to the mind of a reader or listener. When you can do that well, you are able to inform others. Another purpose is to put your feelings about something into words that generate a similar feeling in others. When you can do that well, you are able to influence others. Let's try it. The image, the word, the result. Hmm, <laughs> not so good. Try again. And this time, use a noun that is more specific. The image, the word, the result. Not quite. Be more exact, more specific. The image, the word, and the result. The more specific the word, the more exact is the image transfer, for example. This man is moving. Too general. This man is running. There. She has it. Which of these fairground objects am I talking about when I say it is an attraction. You can't tell. The word is too general. Suppose I say it is a ride. Mm, closer, but not specific enough. Now I say it is a Ferris wheel. There. Only the specific noun tells you exactly what I had in mind. Now let's select a verb to describe the action of the Ferris wheel. We'll try a general term. The Ferris wheel moves. Now, a more exact verb. The Ferris wheel rotates. Vague general statements rarely satisfy our need to know. We keep seeking more specific information. 
I'm thinking of quitting the team. Why? I don't know. Just on account of the way things are. The what things? You know, different things. Now, come on, be more specific. No, 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 what's making you unhappy? It's the way I've been pitching. I feel like I'm letting everybody down. Oh, that... The coach is like the reader. She can't share your concerns until you give her the specifics. But what does all this have to do with my term paper? Read it. The spread of nuclear weapons is a great danger to everyone. There are enough explosives on hand now to be of genuine concern. What exactly are you trying to communicate, Brad? Well, I want to make people realize the power, the size of these weapons. With general words such as danger and concern, you are telling people what they should feel. Right. But telling them to be impressed is not the same as impressing them. Watch this little episode. John, that is a dangerous place to stand. You should feel concerned. Oh, is that so? John, you are standing on a lion's tail. Help! Oh, I see that. When he got specific, the other fellow reacted. Read your line again. There are enough explosives on hand now to be of genuine concern. Let me read the same facts as printed in a United Nations magazine. The explosive power of a freight train 3,000 miles long, carrying TNT, can be compressed into a single bomb or missile with greater force than the sum total of all bombs dropped during World War II. The current stockpile of nuclear weapons contains the TNT equivalent of about 10 tons for every individual in the world. Wow. Instead of telling people what to feel, use specific terms to create specific images that cause people to feel. And Simon, your friend might be more interested in this college if you gave her more specifics. But I said it was a good school. Not image making. Don't try to shrink a whole college into one sentence. Think of specifics. For example? What is Molly interested in? Computer science, I think. And that's good, because there's a new computer center here with state-of-the-art equipment. Dr. Wilkie, the head of the department, he's the man who invented... Whoa. Save it to tell her. What's the campus like? It's like you dream every campus should be. It's tree-shaded, ivy-covered buildings. And in the spring, when the cherry and dogwood trees bloom, it's like you walk into a living postcard scene. You feel so... Don't tell me, Simon. Tell Molly. Hey, smart. And remember, the general may be humdrum, but the specific can be terrific. Shh. Sorry.